Good day traders, Lazy Trader Mike once again for another Forex video. Before we begin, I'd like you to pay attention to the risk disclaimer for Forex trading. And um, today's video will um, discuss about the general or basic concept of multiple time frame analysis. Alright, let's um, let's open the chart. Let's uh, just use random charts here. Uh, let's um, open this one, AUDJPY. All right. Okay, so this is the AUD um, AUD JPY one hour chart. Now, um, multiple time frame analysis um, is a method at which you analyze several time frame. The minimum is two, and of course, the maximum is three. If you add more, that would be adding confusion and um, inconsistencies to. Um, what you want to really achieve now mostly I trade uh, the daily chart and I mostly trend trade um, if somehow the, the trend is down I would go short and trade um, the, the trend is up I would look for longs now this is the the basic thing that I do okay now this is just an idea and um, if you find any um, I hope you find it useful for you. You can add it to your strategy or your, you can add it to or you can use different time frames as well. Now the combination that I use is the monthly chart as the big picture and the daily chart as the trade management and entry time frame. You can also use the weekly chart and you can enter on the 4 hour chart or the daily chart as the big picture and you can enter that on the 1 hour chart. And if you would just like to trade intraday, you can use the 4-hour chart and you can trade all the charts below the 4-hour chart. That is um, some sort of, this is the big picture and let's say you have a 15-minute um, trading style. You can just uh, use the 4-hour chart as your big picture. Okay, let's, um, let's proceed with this. Now, this is the monthly chart now of the AUDJPY. And let's um, build uh, the structure or define the support and resistance. Once again, we look for three taps. Okay, since this is the monthly chart, the the areas of support and resistance would be clearer compared to uh, those um, on the, the daily chart. Let's just um, fine-tune this. All right, and this one as well. And this one as well. Okay, now you might think that um, there are still other zones like this one and this one and this one. No, um, I would like to just see the swings or the, the major swings that um, that's really evident or that's um, really visible. Now I can just fine tune that on the daily chart as well. Of course that would be color coded but it must be so that um, I can see that this is a monthly time frame level and this is a monthly time frame support zone as well. Okay but um, I can do this on the daily chart. I can put a zone there and um, do some different color and put in some some description daily resistance so I know that um, this is um, this particular zone is the daily resistance zone so if there is a price action that prints on this zone and whatever the big picture time frame tells me I will take the trade all right so let's um, look for other zones um, this one okay that's just um, it I guess you don't need to uh, keep on marking the zones if um, they are not really evident 
usually if you just mark that on the the monthly chart and then um there will be one or two zones in between the monthly and the 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 monthly or in between zones on the the in between zone would be on the daily and the higher picture time frame would be the one on the edges that is okay as long as the zone is clearly defined if it is not defined um i would rather you just leave that this is actually uh, another zone here all right but um these are none of my concerns for now this is my concern this particular zone or area in the chart right now because that is where price is do not be uh, too concerned about zones or those some um, particular other zones if somehow you've yet to define them that is okay you can just leave them for later because price is still not on that zone so all right let's uh, go back to the, to the to the monthly chart so let's uh, define the trend now there's a lot of ways you can define the trend um, other traders they just do this they add the moving average let's say a 200 moving average like that and um, add another moving average this one is uh, commonly used the 50 and the 200 combination um, I don't know um, some people say that these are, this is being used by institutions so this is um, the trend um, so the the price is below these um, two moving average below the 200 ma and below the 50 ma so it means that the trend is down but if you were paying attention and you just watch the trend analysis tutorial you can easily say that this is a downtrend because this particular swing is not any higher than this so this is what you call a lower high this is a lower low this is a lower high lower low lower low lower low lower highs in there and then if you connect this one with a trend line you would know that this is a downtrend so you do not need to be uh, spending too much time saying that what exactly is this doing this is actually doing down or going down printing lower lows and lower highs if you connect this that's exactly it but um, if you ever use that um, support and resistance or the the dynamic moving average as support and resistance that is okay as well um, that all depends exactly if you know what you're using if you're gonna be using an indicator make sure you know what that indicator is for and if it adds value to the decision that you're gonna make if you're going to trade so when I talk about support and resistance um, way back like six weeks ago I only talk about horizontal support and resistance I did not talk about trend lines trend lines is also a support and resistance whereas um, the moving average is also a support and resistance like this this is a dynamic support and resistance these are fixed price zones and the trend line of course is uh, some sort of a slanting or not a straight line support and resistance for the the lack of better terms okay so let's um let's focus on this one okay the the monthly trend is down all right monthly trend is down so what i just need to be looking for is to look for shorts on the daily chart but do i get a signal let's um check this do i have any signal to short no and i should be cautioned because it's very near the low or very near the monthly support so you should have a buffer what i do is this so i switch on the monthly chart again and i use the fib tool to measure from the support or from the resistance down to support all right 
and uh, I put uh, like this color <coughs> all right now I know that I am 25% below the curve when I say below the curve or this um this particular concept is a support and resistance curve it means that 25% is near the curve or low in the curve or the price is low in the curve and this one above here 75% is price is above the curve so what does that mean it means that if you are low in the curve you are no longer allowed to short if you are high in the curve you are no longer allowed to buy because you are gonna be buying near the high but um, the that's, that is the the general concept now the percentage here is arbitrary although I use the 25 and the 75 percent you don't need to use that you can just replace that with 20 percent 30 percent 15 percent depending on how you feel or how you would be trading or your trading style now as I mentioned I mostly trade trends <clears throat> so what I would be looking for is to short on the daily chart but there is no signal so I would mostly look for a short signal here or a short signal all the way up to this particular area or high in the curve okay so you would be uh, you would be saying that um, why not just um, trade long from this area and target this area and go short from this area and target this area no that's the reason why you should have a trading plan now and also you need to define exactly what type of trader you are now as a, as a trader as a trend trader I cannot do what a swing trader does a swing trader would probably take a bullish position here and then trade all the way up here and then take a bearish position here and trade all the way down here while myself what I do is I trade the trend I would only trade the reversal if somehow on the on the monthly chart there is already a um, a candle or solid body um, candle that close above this trend line this trend line here because that is um, gonna be um, this trend line is gonna be broken now you would be uh, saying that um, why just um, use um, EMA why, why, why use the trend line because trend line is um, on its own is a very very powerful indicator it just depends on exactly how you use them the the thing why trend line works is because if you're gonna be seeing other um, other charts of um, of traders they would likely have this particular trend line the way that we have this today on this video and they would be looking to buy as well when price breaks this particular trend line because there is such a strategy in the forex market and there's a lot of traders using that there's a lot of traders as well who doesn't use horizontal trend lines they just use this particular trend line or slanting trend lines there are also traders who doesn't use um, this particular trend line but just uses dynamic trend line so just have to um, have a level of um, confidence in your strategy but for me the monthly chart is down I would be looking to short on the nearby support or nearby resistance on the daily chart when but when there is a real body candle that closes above this trend line that is already a different story that could be a reversal trade I would be switching my view from bearish to bullish okay so that is just um, just as that is just a concept and that's exactly the way I trade in the longer term
because I like doing set and forget trading. I don't like um, checking the, the charts every now and then. Okay, so um, if you haven't done so, by the way, I'd like to remind you to uh, sign up with Trader's Way and open a demo account. And you can also open some demo account on other traders as well. Just as long as you start the process and um, you can visit babypips.com slash school for you to begin your forex trading journey now this is um, simply um, simple monthly time or multiple time frame analysis you can find other resources about multiple time frame analysis on the web and I suggest you study them once again do not trade a single time frame alone just uh, make sure you have a big picture time frame to lean on. And that would be all. Thank you and good luck.